Today we will be showing you how to extract a tape from an IBM 3592 tape drive. This tape extraction procedure will work for all generations of the 3592 drive. Please be advised, this is for extraction of a tape from a defective tape drive only. Removing the tape from a drive will not fix a faulty drive and the drive itself will still need to be replaced. You will start by using a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the three screws holding the front faceplate on. They are located on the top and two sides of the drive. Then, once the faceplate is loose, you will pull it forward and unplug the cable from the rear of the faceplate and then set it to the side. Once the faceplate has been removed, you will then need to use the Phillips screwdriver to remove the two screws at the front and the two screws at the rear that hold the top cover of the drive on. Once the screws are removed, you can carefully pull the top cover straight up and off the drive and set it to the side. At this point, you will need to choose if you want to rewind the tape all the way into the cartridge or if you just want to cut the tape. If you want to rewind the tape all the way, keep watching from here. If you want to just cut the tape and remove it, please skip ahead in this video. To ensure the tape is rewound all the way, you will need to insert a torque screwdriver into the hole in the bottom of the drive and ensure it engages the front spool. Turn the screwdriver clockwise to retract all of the tape media into the cartridge until the tape becomes taut and the spool will not turn any further. You will now need to locate the horizontal white gear at the rear of the drive and rotate it towards the front of the drive repeatedly. This will disengage the arm from the rear spool and begin feeding the tape leader around towards the front of the drive. As the slack on the tape leader is let out, you will want to stop occasionally and put the screwdriver into the bottom hole and engage the front spool and pull the additional slack back into the tape cartridge. Once the tape leader is in view, you can take a small screwdriver and pop the barbell of the leader out of the tape drive arm, freeing it. Then insert your torque screwdriver into the hole in the bottom of the drive and turn clockwise to take up the rest of the slack, pulling all of the tape media into the cartridge. Now you will need to locate the horizontal white gear on the front right side of the drive and rotate it upwards repeatedly. You will see the tape drive deck start to raise upwards and then the tape cartridge will be pushed gently outwards. Continue rotating the gear until it will not go any further. This will ensure that the drive cartridge is fully pushed out. You can then remove the tape cartridge from the drive. If you decided you want to cut the tape on the drive, please pull out some slack carefully and use a pair of scissors to cut the tape media. Then, locate the horizontal white gear on the front right side of the drive. Rotate the gear upwards repeatedly to raise the deck up and push the tape cartridge outwards. Continue to rotate the gear until it will not go any further. This will ensure that the cartridge is fully pushed out. You can then remove the tape cartridge from the drive. You will then need to take the other end of the media that is on the rear spool and pull out any slack until the tape is taut. Then you can locate the horizontal white gear in the left rear of the drive and rotate it forward repeatedly while keeping tension on the tape until the leader is visible. Then you can use a screwdriver to pop the barbell out of the tape drive arm. The extraction is now complete. If you are returning the defective drive as a core exchange to the rocket platform, you do not need to reassemble the drive. Simply place the top cover back on the drive and ensure that all screws and other small parts are included in the anti-static bag with the drive before shipping it back to us. If you have any further questions about tape extraction from a 3592 tape drive, please reach out to us at support at therocketplatform.com. Thanks for watching. This has been another video by the Top 10 USA video production team. We look forward to sharing more content with you going forward, so please check out our YouTube channel and please subscribe so that you get notified whenever we release a new piece of content.